Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network comedy show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio studio line. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smits. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Jumpin' Jack, who's live outside Heinz Mustard Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, skinny dipping in the Ohio River after the Denver Broncos versus Pittsburgh Steelers match. What is going on out there, Jack? Oh, man, geez. I mean, just, just after this game, I mean, people are so frustrated. Oh, you, you should have seen the, the, the few Denver Broncos fans. They just they just all jumped in the river. You know, that some people are tying weights around their ankles. They, they're, 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 they, they got fear in their bones. They got fear in their blood for the rest of this season. So I, I, I decided to do a little uh, safety work myself. I, I was a lifeguard, actually, in high school. Uh, there was a, a local water park that I'd go to, and uh, that was really good. Actually, uh, one of my best friends worked at the concession stand. Uh, Steve was his name, and uh, he was, oh, man, he sold all kinds of great uh, corn dogs and whatnot. And, gosh, I got to tell you this one time, we uh, would sneak out behind uh, the, the, the entire park. You know, the way there was a private employee parking lot and whatnot. And uh, what we would do is uh, sometimes our manager, oh, gosh, he could be a real jerk sometimes. So what we would do is uh, we'd take a bunch of corn dogs, right, and then we'd stuff them up in the tailpipe. Oh, man, yeah, that, that wasn't good for his car, I'll tell you that much. You know, actually, uh, speaking of cars, I'm, I'm looking at getting a, a new vehicle myself. I was, you know, I'm thinking uh, maybe not an American-made car. You know, uh, they, they ain't too uh, good when it comes to the mileage and whatnot. So I'm thinking uh, maybe a Hyundai or, a, you know, a Civic, you know, Honda, Toyota, you know, something along those lines. I mean, I know BMW is also a, a foreign car. It's not an American car. You know, it's, it's German, right? But uh, nonetheless, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to, you know, the East. You know, I'm going towards the, uh, the Asian makers, you know. And actually, I got I to gotta point something out that uh, Hyundai is actually a Korean a uh, car company. You know, a lot of people think it's uh, Japanese, but it's not. All right, back to you, Potter. Wonderful weather report there, Jack. Wonderful. Well, in that case, let's move on to our next story. And it's exclusive breaking news brought to us by wind contributor John of Madison, Wisconsin. Star Wars The Force Awakening has not only taken the universe by Stormtrooper, but also seeming hopeless U.S. presidential candidate Bernie Sanders as well. The beleaguered candidate has been energized by the force and decided to not take the unfair treatment handed down to him by his presidential rivalry, Hillary Clinton, and the DNC, or the Democratic National Committee. To find out how the Democratic Yoda got the force all up in him and how he plans to use his new powers to combat his current situation, let's go live to win intergalactic affairs reporter Bill O'Reillykin who's entranced and embedded in Mr. Sanders' global presidential campaign. Bill? Yeah, that's right. I got an opinion. I got an opinion, and I'm going to share it. But I'm going to I'm gonna share it with a, a good man I got to interview here, Mr. Bernie. Oh, wow. Um, I just got to thank you so much uh, for having me. You know, uh, it's a really Bernie, good all idea. right. Cut you off it. right okay. there. Cut you off right there. All right, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. What's up with your campaign? Why are you campaigners? Why are they stealing from Hillary? What's up? What's up? Listen, uh, that was just uh, that was just a, a, a discrepancy. You know, it was a user error uh, for the the software. Uh, really, there was no ill will. There was no, uh, you know, uh, saboteur. All right, mindset. we'll take it. We'll take it. That's good. That's good. That's good, Bernie. All right, we'll take it. All right, talking point going to you. How do you feel? I feel very confident. Uh, you know, and I'm just excited. Awesome. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Bernie. Bernie. How do you feel about Star Wars? Tell me, hit me, hit me hard, hit me hard, hit me hard. Uh, you know, I haven't seen the new one, but uh, I, I, I gotta tell you, uh, Luke Skywalker, big fan of his work, you know, uh, really representing the uh, the working class people on Tatooine, you know, okay, rising so up Okay, so let's talk about sands. this, let's talk about this. All right, all right, Bernie, let's talk about this, okay? We're gonna talk about this, okay? How do you feel that Luke Skywalker and Mark Hamill aren't in the new Star Wars? How do you feel, how do you feel? Talk to me, talk to me. Boy, you know, uh, you know, I think J.J. Uh, Abrams, he's going to do a great job with this new movie. So uh, Skywalker or not, I think it's going to be top notch. All right. Perfect. Perfect, Bernie. Perfect. Let's speed this up. Let's speed this up. Speed round. Pasta. What do you like? Ragu. 
Ragu. All right, pasta sauce with the ragu. What do you like? Uh, penne. Penne. Awesome, awesome. All right, Korean soccer team, go. Uh, the uh, lightning. Awesome, perfect, perfect. What do you like to do in the morning? Uh, drink a coffee. All right, hit me hard. What kind of coffee do you like to drink? Uh, Folgers, nothing but. There we go, hitting hard, hitting the point. Bill O'Reilly can send it back to you. Wonderful, Bill. Way to get right to the heart of the matter. Good stuff. All right, well, our next story is brought to us by wind contributor Mario of Terrania, Albania. Pope Francis has recognized a second miracle attributed to Mother Teresa and thus has decided to anoint her to become the next Santa Claus instead of just a saint, effective January 1st, 2016. How will this divine papal decision affect Christmas and maybe even more importantly, future holiday shopping seasons? Well, to get imbued with heavenly answers, let's go live to win senior divinity reporter Elron Cubbard, who's standing by with the current Saint Nick and resurrected Mother Teresa at the North Pole. Elron? Oh, hey. Ah, uh, uh, man, it's just been crazy up here the past few days. Uh, I don't even know what's going on right now. Santa! And, I know, I know, these are the elves, these are the elves. I know, I know, we're running hard, we're running hard up here. We're working hard. Is it time for an interview? It's time for the, guys, come on, it's, I mean, we got toys to make, but I'm giving you a hot sec to interview. That the new Santa? Yes, I am the new Santa. I was brought back to life. To uh, reinvigorate elves to not make toys anymore. Not in 2016. No! What do we make now? Guys, back to work. Back to work. Come on. Oh, sorry. You not felt like Santa. No, I, I do not have time to eat hamburgers and candy canes. All right, come on. Speed it up. Time to lean. Time to clean, boys. Time to lean. Time to clean. Sorry, please. Please, can I have more porridge? I am cold and tired. Well, let's see if we get more toys. If you Here. get more toys, you get more porridge. Here, little elf, have this flask of water. You thirsty little poor creature. All right, all right, all right. New Santa, I, I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing. You want to take care of you guys. Toys ain't being made. Toys ain't being made. Look, look at, look at this poor little man. Look at him. Look how much he needs the water. This is... These elves have not been treated well. They can eat the snow. They can eat the snow. The snow, the cold snow slows down All right, guys, gotta wrap it up, gotta wrap it up. All right, back to work, back to work. New Santa, you do your job. Free me, Santa! Do not worry, I will give you back, Rob, as you work. Ow! Oh, my God. Oh my god, what is going on up there in the North Pole? Not what anybody ever expected nor thought. What is going on? Oh, wow. That is sad state of affairs. Well, let's get a quick look at the global weather then. And let's check in with Jasmine Snowflake, who's still waiting in line at McMurdo Station in Antarctica to see the new Star Wars. How's it going at the southern tip of the Earth, Jasmine? Hey, boys. It's cold and bold. And now here at the northern tip in Antarctica... We only have one thing going on, and that's that Tauntaun fur is back in. If you want to line your sweater with something fancy for the upcoming season, then you just need to make sure that it's a Tauntaun. Another thing that matches with all of your outfits is the best accessory of a lightsaber. Are you Seth? Are you Jedi? Are you just Fly? Doesn't matter when you're in line, because that's what people watch. Now, one thing that's catching on that I just want to help you out, sleeping in the snow is cool. And when we sleep in the snow, that means we're hot because we're the boss. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jasmine. Wonderful reporting. I hope you get to see the movie as well. And thank you all for tuning in to One World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smits. Stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during community court. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.